Red Fury Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 41st Torino Film Festival. I'm honored to be again with Christian Petzold, who's here to present a fire to the Italian um, audience. Il cielo brucia in Italian. That's a, mm -hmm. uh, that's a good uh, translation <laughs> for <laughs> once. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, is something like very general question then uh, no it's not general but something that i was curious about and um, you often said um, while presenting a fire since berlinale that more or less the protagonist was inspired by who you kind of were in the past no so i was thinking was it the did you feel a fire also as a way to get the older you out of your system yeah once and for all uh, this could this would be great if this would happen <laughs> yeah if, if uh, um, to make a movie is like a treatment yeah? yeah but but I think it's more a comedy I, I start to laugh about me I, I, it was 1995 I have made my I'm shooting my second movie Cuba Libre <laughs> and my girlfriend at this time now my wife yeah? she visited me at the Belgium coast where we uh, are shooting the movie and she said in the, in, in the evening, after the third day of shooting, she said to me, uh, uh, um, Christian, I'm afraid because I see you you acting uh, like a director. You are not a director. You are like on a stage. And I was really ashamed about that because she was totally right. And something about this experience and this time in the Belgium coast 1995 was inside of the movie and I asked myself why he had to to work in this space on, uh, outside the house as this this place is like a stage yeah he's working he's he's thinking and working on the stage but not for himself also always for the eyes of others yeah and this was something of my experience when I was working on my second movie and so me and Leon we are a little bit the same but I think I'm more intelligent than him <laughs> I think so <laughs> um, how did you manage to um, uh, realize a film that is uh, at the same time very um, poetic and dreamlike and at the same time very terrain like there's you can feel it you can smell it you can touch it i don't know how to explain it better so how did you intersect the two things i think it depends a little bit on a, this is a very simple answer uh when you are not using a score not music in a movie <laughs> you can hear the world you can hear the wind and the trees you can hear the insects in the forest you can hear the waves at the beach yeah and you can hear the breathing of the actors everything because you can you can hear and this gives you a physically uh, um, impression yes because most the most movies when i when you are on this shit streaming things like netflix and so on and <laughs> and you, you you see a movie it's 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 95% yeah. you have yeah. a score the score makes the emotions and the score destroys mostly, not uh, all times, but mostly the score destroys the physical uh, 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 rich, the uh, richdom of the world. Yeah? You you can't hear something, you can't see something because the score is like like when you have a bad food and they uh, they take a very very uh, hard sauce yeah? like ketchup mm -hmm. about the bad food. You can't uh, um, eat. Uh, you can you can eat it. It, because you don't you do, you don't taste that it's very cheap and bad food yeah it's a little bit mostly the score in the movies are a little bit like the ketchup and on in bad foods yeah. i love that uh last time we spoke you said that you had no idea or what could be the element for the third film of the trilogy so i'm asking you like to follow up on that last interview uh are you thinking about dropping this trilogy and and go to start another one yes sometimes you are you are so disappointed about something what happened in this case i must be uh, i'm now telling the truth I'm, <laughs> i start lying some months ago with all these stories but I now i have to tell the truth i i wanted to to make uh, i wanted to buy a novel yeah by an mm. english author 
And in this novel, there is, uh, I want to make the third part of the element trilogy. Yeah, the, this novel was based on a balloon, yeah, with filled with air. Yeah, and uh, it's a fantastic novel, but uh, I don't have enough money to buy this novel. There are other production companies who have, have much more money and they have bought it. And mm. I was so disappointed that I said, now trilogy is over. I'm sorry. It's something to do with my, with the, with, uh, with the less of money. Yeah, that's a pity, but I'm sure you will because I know about the new trilogy you're thinking about. So uh, I'm hopeful that we will soon watch another uh, great uh, film. Right? Yeah, the, the next uh, next movie is based uh, on my own story, and therefore I uh, don't have to pay for a novel, and so <laughs> I'm I'm not. I'm now rich again. I love that. Thank you so much, Kitchen Petzold, for presenting a fire at the 41st uh, Torino Film Festival. Thank you very much. And this is Chiara Nicoletti for Fred, the Festival Insider.